this video, we're going to talk about whether or not you should use Twitter for your business. Now, we did a survey of small business owners earlier this year, and we found that their least favorite marketing tool was Twitter. Twitter is an odd bird, pun intended. A lot of people who use Twitter aren't sure what to make of it, and those that don't use it aren't sure how to join in or if they should join in. Twitter is a lot like drinking water from a fire hose. The stream of data that goes rushing by can seem daunting and outright confusing. So I'm not going to tell you in this brief video how to use Twitter. That's best left for another entire tutorial, okay? But what I will tell you is this. If you're a B2B company and you're not using LinkedIn, I would definitely use LinkedIn before using Twitter. And if you're a B2C company, a business to consumer company, and you're not using Facebook, I would certainly do that before getting involved with Twitter. Because if you are using Facebook and LinkedIn consistently, they both have easy to use apps that can, con that can connect your accounts so that your LinkedIn and Facebook posts will post automatically to Twitter, okay? But again, how to use Twitter is another story for another time. Just know right now that it can be done. You can hook up your accounts, okay? But let's say you're already using LinkedIn and Facebook and you're even dabbling with Twitter too. Here's the bottom line. If you're using Twitter to send tweets about your business, make sure some of the tweets link to your own site in addition to info about your industry. Mix it up. The reason tweeting can help your website is that the search engines like Google now give more value to sites that have what's called social media signals. Social media signals can be from Twitter, Google+, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. Links coming and going from Twitter in and out from your site are indications to the search engines that your site is timely, updated, and relevant, and will be given preference in the search engine results pages over sites that do not have social media activity. Having and using a Twitter account shows activity and engagement with other users and the internet at large. And regardless of what you think of it, Google, Yahoo, and Bing are now all giving more credence to sites with social media activity. So it's more about what Google wants, Google gets. Give Google what it wants to get what you want, which is better search engine results. So two things to keep in mind to maximize your Twitter experience. Make sure you follow other relevant people, companies, and entities. Following them will often get you return follows. Not always, of course, but more likely. Now, once you have hundreds or even thousands of followers, they will read your tweets and, more importantly, click through to your content. Secondly, use a third-party tool like Hootsuite or TweetDeck to post your tweets. The reason? You can pre-schedule them in advance to go out several times a day for a week if you wanted. Plus, most importantly, they offer stats and reporting to show you which tweets of yours were clicked on, retweeted, favorited, etc. This will help you understand what types of content people are interested in reading and where you should devote your attention. And one last tip, don't follow more people than follow you. It's considered a negative to follow a thousand people with only a hundred followers of your own. For example, as you get into the hundreds of followers, let's say 500, don't follow more than 450, okay? So hopefully that answered the question or at least gave you some food for thought should you use Twitter for your business. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this information and would like to receive 20 free videos of the top questions that people ask about search engine optimization and also get a free copy of what you must know about SEO in plain English, please visit the website on your screen.